We're here to set a record for a longest journey on a single charge in an electric SUV. Based on previous experience, we're probably going to be on the road for about 24 hours. Two of us in the car at any time, uh, so we'll be taking shifts for safety. But we'll be travelling at reasonably slow speeds on smooth, flat roads um, and trying to eke out as much efficiency as possible. We have to leave at two in the morning because that means we can have a clear road, much more clear road. Also, that's the coldest part of the day. So the efficiency of the motor will be not as good as perhaps later on when it's a little warmer. So we can really benchmark as we go in those first few hours. The route is in the Norfolk area and we're doing that because it's very flat, um, smooth roads, slow speeds, uh, and then getting maximum distance as a result. We're also going to be supported by the AA. Not that anything's going to go wrong, but if it does, they are there. And they also have a very important job to do. They do the verification for the independent adjudicator from the Guinness World Records team. So between the three of us, we will plan regular stops with the third person always in the support car able to put their head down and get sleep. We are six hours in. Uh, the car's performing brilliantly. And uh, we've just done our first changeover. So uh, it's time for me to get a little bit of kit to do true efficient driving you do have to concentrate you do have to keep your eye on the performance of the vehicle yourself making sure that you're not taking any unnecessary precautions you have to make sure that your goal is to drive smoothly and that way you're more likely to hit the miles and why I love this challenge is because whilst you're not going to drive like that all the time it shows that with a beautiful piece of equipment like this Polestar you can push it beyond its own limits just by treating it gently instead of driving around in a way that you may have been used to in a petrol car. You just don't need to in electric. It's enjoyable at all speeds. As we got through the day and it warmed up, the performance of the vehicle just went stratospheric and we started recalculating, oh, actually, we're probably in a territory now where we can go for the real stretch. Saying you did it on real roads in an unaffected vehicle that you haven't modified and you still got that efficiency, even with traffic, even in all weathers, that's when you can really hang your hat on electric vehicles. This car, this Polestar 3, has just blown all our expectations out the water. You know, we, we were recalculating every couple of hours going, actually, we can go this far, we can go a bit further, we can do a bit more. Here you've got a true family sports utility vehicle that actually can do some really phenomenal distance. You know, and we've proved that. When we got past the 500 mark and we still had 20% in the batteries, we thought we had to push it as far as we could possibly go. And, you know, and pushing it past that zero point was stressful, but the car just kept on going. And you know, when we got to the charge and the fact that we didn't need to be recovered by the AA just was a testament to how far that car can go. It's an extreme test. No one normally runs a car for 24 hours non-stop, but we did it. The car kept on going. The longest journey by a production battery-powered electric sports utility vehicle on a single charge you have achieved a total of 935.44 kilometers, which is a new Guinness World Records title. <laughs> Electric vehicles have always had a stigma of, of not being able to do distance. Uh, and here we are on a day like today, having achieved 581 miles in a Polestar 3 SUV, which using Guinness World Record phraseology is officially amazing.